Hi there, got some more from Zoids KZ from Cape Town. How you doing? How you doing? We're going to do a review on this Friday evening so we can start the weekend on the right way. So what we're going to have a look at it is this, which is called the TGO by Vapefly, which they refer to as a pot system. But as you can see, the presentation of this little box, very, very nice for a pot kit. Let's check it out. It's a beautiful box, which you can see over there. That's what the mod looks like. Vapefly on the top, and they do give you the color configuration in which you will receive it. It does come in a total of seven different colors. On the one side of the box, they're going to display the main features of it. You're going to get what is inside, the contents, and where, what their physical address is. Opening it up, you're going to be confronted with another box. And all you're going to need to do is you're going to need to cut through those protection stickers. And when you open up the box, there's your mod. And as you can see, it looks very, very nice. It's almost got a slight metallicness to it, though. Removing the system, remove this little styrofoam. Then you have got another compartment, which you actually remove. Inside this compartment, you are do going to get a card, which is going to explain to you what one of the main features is of this mod and it is how to actually activate it with different fingerprints then you're going to get a nice little manual booklet nice and thick which is going to be 101 pages which is basically going to contain six to seven different languages but it is beautifully illustrated in color as well usb to type c charging cable and you're going to get two different coils both of them are TGO mesh coils the one is a 0.3 which is this one and then you get a 0.6 which I have currently got installed inside the system all right so here's what the pot system looks like the body is constructed out of zinc alloy all along and then you also have got PCTG and if you still don't know what PCTG stands for it is polycyclohexylene dimethylene terephthalate glycol which is just a fancy name for some other plastic resin. You have got the firing button over there, which is going to be give you an optional fingerprint activation. You've got your up and down buttons over there. You have got a 0.96 inch screen. That's there. And there's your type C USB charging port. If you turn this around, you have got adjustable airflow over there. Currently the airflow is closed, very easy to adjust. There the airflow is wide open and designed and manufactured by Vapefly. You also do see three slits over there. The bottom slits are going to be airflow intakes. So besides the airflow intake in front, you're also going to have air take, airflow intake on both those sides. Basically, which allows you for intake on three from three different directions. And then those two cutouts at the top of there, they're going to serve, serve as juice windows. So you, you can actually see the amount of juice which you've got inside the cartridge. If you're looking at the pot, just quickly, it's also held in place by four magnets on the various edges. There we've got our coil. Very easy to put in the coil. You just remove it there and just put it in. You can see you've got flat sides. Your coil has got flat sides as well. So you are just going to put it in with those flat sides down like so and just press it in. And there you go. Now you're wondering how the hell do you fill this thing? But I'll show you. If you put this cartridge on top again like so, you'll see there's a little button. There you can see there's a little button over there and once you push, push in that button and you push this car forward you can see it moves ahead let's do it from the side push in that little button and push a little thing into the front and there you've got a little full port which is exposed through which you are actually going to put in your juice i'm going to put in some lemon tree very easy and it actually works brilliant so there you go someone just judged it though we'll see how good i judged Push this back, remove out that, and you can actually see the juice inside. If you want to switch on this mod, you're going to press the fire button five times. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to tell you vape fly, engine start. There we go. It runs all the way from five to 70 watts. But as I said, it is fingerprint activated. So I have already put in my two thumb fingerprints. So if I, for instance, want to use this guy now, you'll see it shows up red. So I won't be able to do that. No matter what finger I use, it's not going to activate this little guy. And now all of a sudden, now that I use my thumb, I can use this. As I said, because it is tuned in for my two thumbs, but not for my other fingers. When you let this guy stand for five seconds, it automatically switches off. And it also automatically goes to lock your up and down key, which is very, very nice. So if we just activate this again, 
and now if you want to press the up and down you'll actually see it is locked and it and you will have to depress those two keys the up and down and you will see the little unlock sign over there and now you can adjust all right so it actually runs fairly quickly now slow in the beginning but it does round robin what you also got on the screen is you have got the puff count at the bottom you can see i actually used it for a long a long time now 256 puffs also indicates just below that how long you actually depress the fire button you will see there's a little fingerprint sign if you press this three times one two three then it's going to disappear which basically is going to mean you can use this mod now it's called a communication mode you can use it for 24 hours without needing a fingerprint to fire this you can see now i can use any finger to fire this guy all right once you put it one two three again one two three you'll see a little fingerprint activated there at the bottom now you sh now it's going to be fingerprint sensitive again see there <laughs> ain't that sweet then i will use use my thumb again which it does recognize and now all of a sudden i can fire what else you can do is by pressing this guy four times one two three four then you're going to go into this mode now you've actually got a standard mode you've got a sport mode you've got an eco mode and then there's um a very a vpg which basically is a curve which you can go and set for your firing over there if i press the fire button then i can move up the first one if i'm done with that I just press it again and then you can go down to the next one pressing the fire button is now going to allow you to move that one about as well there you go pressing the fire button happy with that going with the down button to the next one pressing the fire button again and then adjusting the third one accordingly right so you can decide if you want to use it in that mode i'm not interested in that mode and then you need to go all the way down if you want to go back to that portion and there you go back but all right i'm not going to use that mode i'm just going to run it in sport mode unlock i'm going to go down to 30 watts there you go because it's a 0 0.6 coil which i've currently got in here if i want to put in a new fingerprint I'm just going to have to turn it upside down because I recorded my fingerprints like this. And then you will have to press the fire button and the up button simultaneously. And then you're going to get into this mode. All right. Now let's quickly turn this up. Now this mode that you see, you've got six different fingerprints which you can actually um, save inside this little machine. Now I've already did one and two. Now let's say for instance we want to do three, another one over there. Then all you need to do is you're going to press enter. And then you're going to say, yeah, there's a new one. Press enter again. And then I'm just going to do it from the top. And then when it reads it, you leave it. Put it on again. It reads it. You leave it. Put it on again. Leave it. Put it on again. Leave it. Then put it on again. And then it's done. All right. So then you can say, no. All right. Go back. I have done that. And now all of a sudden, I've got the third fingerprint also being read. All right. So just test it over here. Let's quickly see if I use this finger. It's going to tell me no. Use that finger. It's going to tell me no. Use this finger which I just put in. And all of a sudden it works. Right, so the TGO from Vapefly. Thank you very much, Jeff from the Health Cabin that actually sent this along for the purpose of this review. I do appreciate it. Let's quickly go through all the pros of this guy. Very nice flavor. The TGO coils. Both the 0 0.3, 0 0.6, you're going to get very nice flavor off it. So there's no issue with the flavor. And it's also compatible with the Smok RPM coils. So if you had any issues worrying about not being able to get the coils, you do. T, um, they also released a TGO rebuildable deck. And you can also use the RPM rebuildable deck. So you can see over the picture over there. They do include a base as well in which you can put both those build decks with its chimney. Well, both the build decks on top of a mod and then build it and do your dry burning and your evening out of the coils and whatever you want to do but that's that's option that's nice great feels good in the hand i mean it's constructed very well it feels nice and heavy it doesn't feel that light something which you can miss grab etc you and that's the thing about a, a, a mod with a bit of weight to it you i feel you secure it better in your hand because it's got a bit of weight in this your clasp or your grasp on it it's just slightly more secure that's what i like the filling mechanism i really enjoy pressing in that button opening this up and filling in that little port and just pushing that back very nice adjustable airflow for those guys enjoy it you've got juice windows over there the fingerprint mechanism works fantastic absolutely no issues using that 
Um, you've got various modes in which you can use it. There's economy mode, there's a standard mode, there's a sport mode, and you can go for a bit of variable settings as well as what you saw over there so that you can adjust your power levels individually if that is your feature. Type-C charging, nice and quick. Putting in the coil, removing the coil, very, very simple. This guy is extremely dry inside. After 250 or 260 um, puffs on this guy, there's no leakage at the bottom, which is absolutely, dust is good. Four magnets securing your cartridge in place works brilliantly. This is not going to go anywhere. If you shake this guy, there's no wiggle to it though. Also a pro. The wattage is set fairly quickly though. When you get to the 70, just press up again and it's going to round robin. Start at 5 again. Or when you go down to 5, just press down again and you're going to go down to 70 and it round robins. That's nice. Um, the speed at which your wattage is changed begins slowly and speeds up though. No problem. The 3S chip which I've got inside here with its various protections is very nice. And I mean, it's your typical protections. It's very quick as well on the fire. Everything which you do, it's nice and quick. So the chip in this is very, very good. Battery capacity being 2,300 milliamps. It's large. It's large. It's going to comfortably um, last you a day. Comfortably. Type-C charging. You're going to charge it nice and quickly. If you're wondering about the dimensions of this, it's 102 millimeters all the way to the top. It's about 50 millimeters across. And in its width, it's going to be 23 millimeters. And then the, probably the best feature of this, why people would do that though, because this guy's fingerprint activated. Um, when you put it inside your pocket and you've got keys or something which actually touches your fire button, it's not going to set off automatically and childproof. And that's probably the thing for a lot of, that concerns a lot of vapors, is the fact that a child can get to a mod like this and actually play around with it. And it might arise a problem. But this mod prevents that from happening at all. Screen is also bright enough. So as you can see, there's quite a number of pros. Let's get to the cons. There has to be some cons down the line. The first con would be this. You can hear that. So even though this whole thing is secure and it doesn't shake around, there's no rattle, nothing. The pod does not secure in perfect though. But it's not going to affect you when you vape at all. It's only when you're going to do this. Now, who walks around and does that? But I got to mention it. The airflow, the adjustment of the airflow is not significant enough for me, though. You're still going to get a lot of airflow on this guy. Now, obviously, a lot of airflow normally translates into, into good flavor there. But I enjoy a bit of tightness as well. You just have that option, though. And having air intakes from both sides as well as the front, it's just going to bring in so much air. You will not have any problem getting coils for this the availability let's face it smock is everywhere so because the company is so big you will get those coils and even if you don't get the mesh coils the three zero point three or the different types of rpm coils at least when you get the rba decks you will still be able to use this mod for a very long time another con which i might add though are those little windows which you have and um even though you are able to see your juice through that it's going to be hard, especially with, especially, the, well, the juice which I've got inside here is a clear juice. So it's very hard to determine what the juice level is. So most of the times you're actually going to have to remove this to check out your juice level and just put that back. Right, so as you actually can see over there, they do have more than enough space to have, if they wanted to increase the size of those juice windows, not affecting the functionality of this thing at all. I don't know why they did not do that. Something else which is worth mentioning, even though you get those variable options in the menu, that eco, the sport, the standard, etc. In the manual, they do not really state what those modes actually do there. Now, you can logically deduce that sport mode means it's going to ramp up a bit quicker and give you a hotter vape. Eco mode is going to somehow put saving features on the chip, which is going to allow the battery to last longer, etc. But they don't tell you anywhere exactly what's being done. And I don't find a huge difference whether I've got it on standard mode or eco mode or power mode at a specific wattage, to be quite honest. So that would have actually been nice if they just included exactly what those features do. What is also a nice feature of this is that if you're a beginner and decide to actually buy this mod, when you put in your new coil and put it inside the device, it's going to automatically detect or give you recommended wattage settings for that specific coil. And then obviously you can adjust it if you're not interested, if you're not happy with those recommended wattage. So thank you very much, Jeff from the Health Cavern, 
for sending this along. I think it's a nice device. I think it's got a place in the market there. Um, there will be people that is going to be interested in the look of this, especially because of the capacity, the battery, the fact that you can actually lock this guy, which is going to make it childproof and pocket friendly if you've got other items inside your pocket which might press against the fire button and not cause any issues. And as I said, if you don't want that, you can deactivate it. You can put it in communicate mode and then for 24 hours you do not have to worry about your fingerprints and then no matter what from what side you use what finger it's going to work so yeah all in all decent mod you know the pros you know the cons the decision is up to you this is Kaiser signing over now cheers